So we're going to do a different type of trade in this market. We used the Make Market button before to place one trade and then the closing trade simultaneously. What we're going to do is we're going to place one trade and then wait to close our second trade this time. So what I'm going to do here, if we go up to this button here, this allows you to switch on and off activity on the one click screen. So if I switch this off, this means I can click on any of these prices and nothing will happen. If I have this on, i.e. with no red cross through it, this means I will be placing a bet if I click anywhere on this screen. So we've got uh, back and lay stakes of £10. I'm going to go into this market and lay with £10. So you can see I just clicked. There are no unmatched bets. It just got matched instantly. That went straight into the market and our position is open. Basically things are happening. And then what you can see on this occasion is without an unmatched bet here, the focus is on us to close the trade. So the trading process is open a trade, close a trade, and then hedge your trade. So that's the three things you need to do. Open, close, hedge. Open, close, hedge. So we've done our, our opening position in the market, so now we're looking to do a closing position. And what we need to do for that is we need to let for the, let the market you know, develop and price activity to take place. Um, how can we spot which direction the market's going to go in? There are lots of ways to do that, but predominantly one of the things that people use are charts. And if we want to use charts, then we can click here or here to have a look at charts. But let's just uh, revisit exactly what we've done here. We've placed one position at the moment. We laid £10 at 3. We can confirm that in the match bets area. There it is, £10 at 3. With that position in the market now, we're looking for the price to start moving. At the moment, we're at a very slight loss in this particular market. But if the price starts to move in the direction in which we want, then that will obviously start to turn into a profit. This PL over here is representing exactly what we see on our Betfair screen. This PL here is showing us what our net position is within the market. You can see, because I've still got the green uh, tick box clicked here, um, this is basically telling us what our fully hedged position is. So if you want to, you can always untick that and you can see what your gross position is. It's up to you whether you want that unticked or you want it ticked. I tend to have it permanently ticked. Um, that's just my own personal preference. It's up to you how you want to do that. But because we've laid at three, when you're trading, you want to lay at a lower price than you're back at. So in order for this trade to be profitable, we need the price to move from three and start heading upwards. So we needed to go to 305, 310 and on, onwards and upwards from there. If it starts to go in the other direction, then this will be a losing trade. And we would have to decide when we want to close that losing trade out. However, if it goes into a profit, then we obviously want to squeeze as much money out of the market as possible. And then we choose our exit point from there. So whichever way the market's going, whether it's going in your favor or it's going against you, you have to make a decision as to when to close it at some point. And because this race isn't going off for another 10 minutes or so, we've got 10 minutes to let this trade develop to its full maturity. So what clues do we think that, you know, the, the price is going to go up or down? Well, we could check and see if the horse is being backed or laid over the course of the day. So if I click on the name of this particular horse, you can see here that the price has come in from about 370 or thereabouts. It's reached three and then it's basically completely stuck at three. It hasn't moved at all from there. Um, if we look at some of the other runners, we can select those from the drop down menu. So you can see the second favorite is drifting and drifting and drifting and drifting. And you can see it's it opened at sevens. It reached a low about three and then it's gone straight out. Um, and you can see Salat is pretty flat. Cherry Tiger slightly coming in. So these just give you some sort of view on what's happening within the market because if what you tend to find in racing markets is if something gets backed heavily then people think oh the market knows something and so they jump on the back of that and they pull the price in even more and if something is drifting they sort of think well you know the market obviously doesn't like this I'm not very much into racing and therefore the, you know they must have seen something in this horse that they don't like and the price continues to drift so when when you get a drift it basically means that the price is getting higher and when you get um, something shortening, it means the price is getting lower. Those are the betting parlance for whether prices are getting bigger or smaller. So at the moment, we've laid Ambella in this particular market. We need the price to start heading up in the other direction. Um, at the moment, our position doesn't look wildly under threat, so we'll hold it. 
Um, the Betfair charts are useful, but the best charts to use are the advanced charts, which you can see here on BetAngel. And in this particular video, I'm not going to uh, go into great depth about exactly what you're looking at here, because there's an awful lot to look at. You need to look at the advanced charting video to configure and make your advanced charts, but that's the best one to use simply because there's so much information available, so many indicators, you'll get a much better steer on what's going on on the market if you use advanced charting. But we're not con too concerned at the moment, we're just going to put our position in the market as we have done there, and we're going to leave that and we're going to see what happens as we get closer to the start of this race. So we've rejoined this market a little bit later. If I um, click on the timer, we can bring that up. You can see how much closer we are to the off now. And uh, you can see what's happened to our trade here. So um, now I'm an experienced trader, so it's quite common for me to get things right. You won't get them right every time. But you can see on this occasion, we definitely have got it right. And we've laid with £10. Um, it's moved into a profitable position. Um, and we can now exit our trade for a profit. Now, Unhedged, our position is worth £7.50, so if we fancied a free bet on this favourite, we just let this position run, um, hedge our position here for a free bet. But the thing I recommend doing, and the thing I recommend you doing if you're trading seriously, is to hedge all positions. So you can see here, for our £10 lay bet, we've got a return of £2.21. And it's about time now that we want to exit our position. There's only a minute left before the start of this race. They're going to start loading soon. So we want to get out of the market and take our profit. If we look at what's happened to the price of Ambella, can you see what's happened? Whoop! The price has gone uh, exactly the way that we expected. Um, and all we need to do now, you can see it's just coming off now, um, so I need to get out soon, is if I click on this button here, um, that will hedge our position right across the field. There we go. So you can see that what we've done here is we've hedged our position at 166 because I was chatting to you. I couldn't hedge it right at the top of the market, but we got pretty close to the top of that. And this basically ensures that we guarantee that we win whatever the result again. But this time we've done it a different way. Rather than just taking one price and then another, uh, just one odds increment apart, we've actually uh, traded the general price direction of this particular runner. And on this occasion, we've obviously earned a lot more because we've done that. And that's because the price of Ambella started at three and we were hedging it at much higher prices. If we review this, we'll look at the match bets area. You can see we laid £10 at 3, and then you can see we actually backed £8.33 at 3.6. And you're thinking, well, why didn't we, um, you know, uh, close it to £10? And that is because of the way um, that the hedging works. Basically, we've spread our profit across the entire field. Betangel has calculated what is required to do that, and it's figured out that if we're closing our position at 3.6, we only actually need to put a stake of £8.33 back in, and the difference on that is our profit that we've hedged across the entire field. So again, uh, we've done two races. The first one we used the Make Market on. The second one we've used the one-click screen to lay and back at a different price and hedge our position. Um, but you can see the race has just gone in play up here. Um, the horses are running down the field, but we know now that we've won uh, whatever the result again. Uh, but we did it in a slightly different way on this occasion. Um, we basically placed one bet, waited for the price to move, placed the other closing bet at a different price, and that's what gave us our profit on this occasion.